Hey you all, I am on Capitol Hill in Washington DC and in this video I'm going to be going into the Supreme Court, the highest court in our country. Uh, it's got a really cool building. We're gonna head inside. The Supreme Court had first met in Philadelphia and it was also a circuit court in its first years, so that's why all the original justices left so early on. In fact, when the first Chief Justice John Jay won the governorship of New York, that was considered a huge promotion. The court had met in the Capitol building until 1935, when this new building across the street was completed. Cass Gilbert designed the building, This is the courtroom that has been used since 1935. So every case since then has been argued and decided in this room, including Brown v. Board of Education, Gideon v. Rainwright, Tinker v. Des Moines, Roe v. Wade, and so many more landmark cases. Those are the seats of the nine current justices. John Roberts, Clarence Thomas, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, Stephen Breyer, Samuel Alito, Sonia Sotomayor, Elena Kagan, Neil Gorsuch, and at the time Anthony Kennedy, but since then Brett Kavanaugh has replaced him. This is the grand hallway outside the courtroom, lined with busts of the Chief Justices. Of course, John Marshall is unquestionably the most important Chief Justice in its history. Roger Taney was Chief Justice from 1836 to 1864, and he decided cases like Dred Scott, so he kind of sucks, even though many people don't know that he did overall oppose slavery, but believed in gradual abolition. Salmon P. Chase was Chief Justice from 1864 to 1873. He was Lincoln's Secretary of the Treasury. Then as Chief Justice oversaw the first impeachment trial against President Andrew Johnson. William Howard Taft served from 1921 to 1930, and he's the only former president to serve on the Supreme Court. He liked this job a lot more. Charles Evans Hughes served from 1930 to 1941. He was a key swing vote and did strike down several New Deal reforms that caused a lot of problems for FDR. Earl Warren was Chief Justice from 1953 to 1969 and decided many landmark cases that were often based on the Bill of Rights as well as many civil rights cases. Warren Burger served from 1969 to 1986 and the court was more conservative, but he also decided some critical cases in a more liberal and progressive way. Also, he made Nixon turn in his tape recordings even though Nixon appointed him. William Rehnquist served from 1986 to 2005. He presided over the impeachment of Bill Clinton, U.S. v. Lopez, and Bush v. Gore. There's a bust outside the hallway of the first Chief Justice John Jay. The problem with the court when it was established was that it was essentially powerless and considered unimportant until John Marshall established judicial review in Marbury v. Madison. This is a beautiful spiral staircase inside which they don't even let you use. And this is pretty incredible, John Marshall's bench chair, which he used from 1819 to 1835. It is used in a ceremony when a new justice joins the court in which they sit in it in the courtroom. This is a section of the original courtroom bench that was used in the US Capitol in the old Senate chamber from 1860 to 1935. The site of this building was already very historic. The old brick capital was built in 1815 for Congress to use after the British burned the actual capital. It was at this building and adjoining buildings on the site in which Congress met from 1815 to 1817. It's where President James Monroe was inaugurated and where John C. Calhoun died in 1850. This is the record book from the first day in the building, October 7th, 1935. It was really hard to see when you're just peering into the courtroom, but along the upper walls is a giant frieze that completely surrounds the room. On the frieze are allegorical figures and historical figures who had influence in the development of law, like Justinian, Hammurabi, and Napoleon. The only Supreme Court justice or American on here, rightly so, is John Marshall. This is a miniature Supreme Courtroom. 
a bust and plaque of Chief Justice William Howard Taft. And yes, I do believe he was the thickest Supreme Court Justice. A giant seated Lincoln style statue of John Marshall. He should be considered one of the founders of the nation. In summary, he established the Supreme Court's importance and supremacy in US government and fought for the idea of a strong national government at a time when it was really threatened and fragile. The government in the country really might have fallen apart without his demanding presence on the Supreme Court for 34 of the early and testing years in the nation's history. Some of his critical decisions like McCullough vs. Maryland, Cohen's vs. Virginia, and Marbury vs. Madison. A statue of Sandra Day O'Connor, who was the first female Supreme Court Justice, who was nominated to the court by President Reagan in 1981 and served until 2006. That is her Presidential Medal of Freedom, awarded to her by President Obama in 2009. That is O'Connor's Supreme Court Bench Chair. She was wearing this dress when President Reagan announced her as his appointment to the Supreme Court seat. And there is a portrait of the first African American Supreme Court Justice Thurgood Marshall who had a history with important civil rights cases before being nominated in 1967. It was so awesome to visit the court in person. If you like this video please check out my other DC videos and thanks for watching.